Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and it's time for today's episode of the Daily Stand-Up. So without any further ado, let's get started. It is Thursday. The week has flown by. Things are going very well here. I hope things are going great for you. Today, I want to do something a little different. Usually, I save my Agile, Not-So-Agile podcast for Friday, but I have something special planned for you tomorrow. So today, I want to talk to you about the top 10 habits that you could do to really improve your life because I do them and they improve mine. So I want to give you the top 10 things that I do just to help me stay high energy, to help me stay happy, to help me stay engaged. So here we go. Here are the top 10. So top 10 list. Coming in at number one, you need to make these things part of your everyday ritual. Keep that in mind. Coming at number one, put your phone on airplane mode before you go to sleep at night. Now, this sounds silly, but that way you're not distracted. You're not interrupted. Everything just kind of simmers down. Any kind of messages or notifications all kind of go out of wayside. Now, this is a beautiful thing for me because it's taking that sleep time and separating myself from my life, you know, from my normal lifetime. And it also allows me to spend time with my wife. So if you have a partner, a spouse, someone that you care about, this is a good way to show them that you're shutting off the outside world and that you're dedicating that time to them, which is incredibly important. I mean, those, those moments are things that you have to live for. So you want to make sure that you're, you're, you're showing your true colors and that you're doing that because that's one way to just separate your time and block things out. My only request is make sure you turn it back off of airplane mode in the morning, right? Got it. Second thing, meditate every morning for at least 10 minutes. Uh, I'm up to probably about 30 minutes now, but you should at least sit down and just kind of gather yourself, collect yourself, sit down and just gather your thoughts, focus on your breathing, you know, cleanse your mind, clear everything out and just become focused, become centered. Those are the things that are going to give you the power to make it through a day and just kind of focus on where you need to be. Number three, stretch every day, stretch every morning, get up and dedicate at least 10 minutes to stretching your body, stretching your limbs. You know, I often do it in front of a window so I can look outside and see the mountains when I'm in Utah or to see the beautiful, uh, the beautiful woods when I'm out in Florida because we live in a swamp area. And it's just, it's a great opportunity for you to connect your body with your mind. So you've, you've done your meditation. Now you're connecting your body with your mind. Good stuff. Now comes number four. Uh, And this is one that I, I love. I practice gratitude daily. Um, I, I, I often find myself, you know, saying I'm grateful for things, but I I rarely say how much I appreciate things. And and that's kind of intentional because I save true appreciation for things that I really do appreciate. I don't want it to become passe, right? I don't want it to become just something I say. So for me, when I say, you know, I really appreciate something, that's a big deal, right? But I try to reserve gratitude for every single day. And I try to look for opportunities to let someone know how grateful I am, whether it's the person who showed up at work to help bag my groceries, whether it's someone on a call who extended themselves and wanted to reach out for services or whatever the case may be, just try to find a way, even with your kids and your spouse, make sure they know how grateful you are for the things that they do. Okay, we're almost halfway through. How about number five? Number five is write down something daily. Write down your thoughts. Write down an event that happened. Keep a daily log of things that are going on in your life. And and journaling is such a powerful tool. If you can leverage the power of a journal or leverage the power of just keeping, and it doesn't have to be anything long-winded, just a couple of bullet points. I think that's really going to help you square away. And it's going to help you realize and see just where you were in your life at certain points. And it's going to help you learn more about who you are and then how you can uplift others. So it's a good tool. Next, watch what you eat. I don't know if any of you can tell, but I've lost a lot of weight. And uh, the reason why is because, well, I decided I was going to be more careful about the things that I was putting into my body, right? Now, for many of you, you can practice things like intermittent fasting. Um, and believe it or not, the diet that I chose is one called Trim Healthy Mama, because I look like a trim healthy. No, it, it really is called that. But, but it does help you recenter and focus because, well, if you feel healthy and you feel strong and you're centered, it's going to help you go about your day. And it's one of the things that most leaders do and executives do, and it really does separate them. So watching what you eat is something that's incredibly important. The next one was one that uh, it took me a long time to get a hold of, but it's habit forming and habit tracking. 
So if I want to make sure that I'm doing the right things or make sure that I'm extending myself to people or make sure that I get in a habit of doing certain things, I'll keep track of every single day. And it's, it's kind of like, you know, I hate to compare it to this, but when you have new young children and you're trying to teach them to use the restroom on their own, you have a potty chart where you keep track of what they do. It sounds so funny because you get a little star for each time you do it. It's that kind of thing. Because as humans, if we can, it takes us 21 days to form a habit, but if we can formulate good habits across 21 days, then we can keep track of those habits and we can make sure that we're doing the things that we need to do. And they become part of our natural being after that. They become part of who we are. And I think it's just important for us to find a way to track those good habits and to make sure we're flushing out bad habits from our lives, right? Good stuff. Uh, Next one is, uh, you know, this one is kind of crazy, but I'm going to throw it out there. A lot of people say, you only live once, you know, YOLO, let's go do it, right? And you're so many people who live on the edge and live fast. And what I've learned is even if I'm doing something that's completely adventurous or thrill-seeking, which is just like me, I want to live it slow. I want those experiences to be slow. So I tell people, slow down, enjoy the ride. Find that path that's going to let you still do all the adventurous things you want to do, but create lasting memories. You hear me talk about in some of my previous Friday podcasts about when the world stopped or those moments where you only have eight or 10 of those in your life where the whole world stopped and you capture and live in that moment. If you're not living slow, you're not going to be able to get there. You're not going to be able to capture that moment. So when I say live slow, it means take a break for a minute, slow down and let those moments sink in because I'm telling you now, they're incredibly valuable if you do. Uh, The next one is probably one of my favorite ones in the entire list. Read at least one uplifting article or listen to one energizing podcast per day. Well, guess what? You're doing it. If you're listening to this podcast, then you're there. I think that this is something that when you listen to others and you listen to what they're giving you as guidance, as a coach, as a friend, as a mentor, as a leader, as someone who's in the same industry as you are, it's going to help uplift you. It's going to help build up who you are. And uh, it sounds self-serving, but it wasn't intended to be. It's just whether it's mine or anyone else's, find that connection, find that connection and listen to something valuable on the way to work or while you're taking a bath or whatever the case may be. Find a way to listen to something that's going to move you. And I guarantee it's going to make you a better person. Uh, The next one is the easiest one for me. Drink at least eight glasses of water a day. I'm up to almost a gallon of water a day. Now, I'm almost drinking too much water at this point. I didn't think that was such a thing, but apparently it is. But you need to consume water to keep your body moving, to keep all all the faculties moving, to keep yourself high energy, to keep yourself engaged. There's so many exciting things. And then the last one is exercise for 30 minutes. Now, for those of you who know me, exercise was never really my thing. You know, when I played, when I played football back in the day, I injured myself and it's hard for me to do, you know, a lot of the exercises that I should be doing, but I found joy in riding on my uh, echelon. So I ride echelon or Peloton and, and I find myself riding 30 minutes a day. And, and boy, let me tell you on the days when I do the workout, I feel so much better and I'm in such a better mood. So find your niche for exercise, whether it's CrossFit or weightlifting or running or cycling, find something, get out in the outdoors. Even if you're just going for a walk, it's a beautiful thing to do because those are the things that are going to help you. So one more time to make sure you got them all, put your phone in airplane mode, meditate every morning, stretch every morning, practice gratitude daily, write something special, watch what you eat, make sure you keep track of your habits, good and bad, live slow and enjoy the ride. Drink at least eight glasses of water per day and exercise for 30 minutes. And what I can promise you is I didn't do all these at once, but I'm to the point where I'm doing all 10 of these and my life has just been amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Daily Stand Up. Uh, Leave us some comments, leave us some feedback. We'd love to hear what you think of this. And if there's anything that we can do to help you, don't hesitate to let us know. Reach out to us at learnmoreatagiledad.com where we'd love to hear from you. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.